Hey Virgo, how's it going? I hope you all are doing well. So, this is your August reading. So for those of you who have birthdays in August, happy early birthday. So, <coughs> excuse me, I'm just getting over being sick. Well, in the process of being sick, actually. Um, so, yeah, I, I apologize. I've been kind of MIA. My kids got sick. I got sick. I had been studying for big certification that I got one down, two more to go, and then my children decide to get sick, and then now, hence me. So anyway, all I, I can say is I'm speechless with this reading. Um, damn, I love this for you, Virgo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through these. This can be love. This can be work. This can be business. Take it as it resonates. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm going to clarify each of the cards, but before, let me talk about your soul's journey cards here. You have guilt and health. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. Let me grab the book real quick. <clears throat> but this is a, I feel when those, when I was looking at these cards, it's like, I feel like you are, you have released the guilt. Okay, and this is what it's saying with this card. The energy of fear has many guises to complicate your path to loving yourself. Guilt is the most devious because it's a wolf in sheep's clothing. It's a self-imposed emotion that pretends to be instructive and enlightening. Guilt <coughs> excuse me, can help us grow when we realize that our actions have been hurtful to others and that we need to make amends. After we do so, though, it's time to learn from that behavior and move on. The problem arises when we hold on to a guilty feeling that serves no purpose other than promoting self-destructiveness and low self-esteem. No one is perfect. Everyone makes mistakes. Guilt is not always rational. But if you examine it subjectively, act on it, and release it, it becomes a temporary emotion. Long-held guilt feelings <coughs> are never good and will create a roadblock to self-love and happiness. You must continually scan your current emotions for any guilty feelings and bring them to the surface for analysis. Healthy guilt is a warning that action should be taken. Irrational guilt needs to be released. And I'm getting, <coughs> excuse me, I'm getting the sense like for a long time you felt like a flat tire, you know, or a low, like a, a tire that was losing its air, losing its momentum, you know, especially with the Wheel of Fortune and the Chariot card here. I'm getting the sense that there's just a feeling of, you know, perhaps feeling like, oh, I should have done this faster or sooner or this or that. Let it go. Like, you can't change that. And there's reasons for it, right? There's lessons we need to learn. And I know People hate when I say that, but it's the truth, and I'm speaking from my own personal experiences, is sometimes shit needs to get real and bad in order for us to say enough's enough and move forward, okay? Stop looking in the mirror every day, and, 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 or whatever it is, or just getting these random thoughts of guilt of maybe how you messed up, or you should have done this, or you, let it go. I feel like for a lot of you, it has affected your health and you don't even realize that, <clears throat> okay? Like, let it go. You know, it's like heal come is a derivative of health, right? And, and we measure health kind of on a scale. And I feel like you've just been burnt out in a low vibration. And it's like, it no longer. Let me read health for you too, because there's just, it's definitely, there's definitely, I feel like you've done a lot of healing here and it's absolutely beautiful. Your body is your temple and you are responsible for its care. You have chosen to incarnate in this physical dimension to learn certain lessons. And if you don't maintain the physical vehicle that your soul has chosen, then you are sabotaging your own plan. Your health is a vital element for your soul's pro progress, and you should never take it for granted. Be sensible about nourishment and exercise. <coughs> Excuse me. 
You could be a sensitive being who must be conscious of your surroundings because you can easily be drained by people, places, and things. Always make a ritual of protection and cleansing before you work with a client or just bring your mind back to your heart throughout the day to rejuvenate. This card may also signify a desire to assist other beings through physical and emotional healing work. You may be involved professionally in the medical field, body work, or psychiatry and counseling, or maybe you're just a good listener who possesses sage advice. If you or someone you know inherited a congenital disease, past life work may be of some benefit. All right. Overall, <coughs> gosh, I'm so sorry. Overall, I feel like, you know, maybe there was some or is some indulgence in, you know, maybe you're not putting enough nutrients in your body or maybe you're putting too many toxic things in your body, which can be smoking, which can be, right, like drinking, um, some of you, it's just thoughts and negative emotions, but I feel that you're coming out of that. Like you've been through it and now you're leveling up, which is absolutely beautiful. So you have the nine of cups, ace of wands, seven of wands. Um, shit, <laughs> huge surge of creativity and new beginnings. It's like you've learned that you've had to stay strong and resilient through some type of emotional adversity here. And I say this, too, because when I go this way and I see the Nine of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, <coughs> it's like I immediately get the sense of learning to love yourself and be by yourself. And then you get the Ten of Cups. So it's like you're learning that happiness comes from within because that Queen of Pentacles is that pre-Empress energy. Is, 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 is the feeling I'm getting because I read intuitively. And you have, it's like you go from the nine to 10 and it's because you've learned to nurture yourself, okay? And I feel like for some of you that you felt like I'm just getting the feeling this may have been slow moving for you. You know, pentacles are slow, right? Because it's talk about it talks about grounding and earth, and and really, you know, some of you may have really gotten into nature, meditation, but really looking within to create your own happiness, and because of that, you're creating a ten of cups here. For some of you, it is definitely a person. For some of you, this is career. Okay. Um, I'm not saying it can't be both, <laughs> okay? Um, but I do get a feeling of strong, how can I say this? A strong focus on achieving something emotionally balanced. That could be a relationship. It could be work, okay? And I'm not going to lie. For some of you, this is a deep <laughs> romantic desire, Okay, like definite sexual desire vibes here, and I'm going to leave it at that. But you're definitely want to, wanting to pursue something strongly. Okay, um, I, I don't know why I'm stumbling for words. For, it's like I'm hearing like there's some kind of new enterprise, new, a new start here. Some of you could be starting up a new business that is going to bring you a lot of happiness and a lot of success. Um, but there's a pursuit here. You're on a mission. You're on a pursuit. And <coughs> it's about having the knowing you have the potential and you have the strength, wanting to start something new. But there's a sense of resistance. Okay, and some of you need to be willing to stand up for something you believe in. And this could be uncomfortable because it requires you to become vulnerable. Okay, whether that's in love, work, whatever this is for you. All right, and, and I want you to remember that there's always going to be challenges. Okay, there's always going to be resistance. But remember that you have the inner strength. And the perseverance to overcome whatever it is you're, you're, you're faced with. 
okay? Very empowering. Damn. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Why is the Nine of Cups here for Virgo Spirit? Ooh. <laughs> Four of Cups. So, again, a lot of emotion here, a lot of contemplation, a lot of work putting in, you know, and I feel like you've learned to mix these cups together of, of, and, and again, I say that because to me, this is symbolic of the Ace of Cups, okay? This, this one here with the rainbow coming out of it, which is symbolic and meaningful of blessings coming in. And you have another rainbow over here. <coughs> I'm so sorry. <coughs> I wanted to get these readings done and I'm just coughing. I apologize. Um, you finally have learned, you know, four is an even number, and it, I feel like you've learned to, to not get to, you know, like these cups represent emotions, happiness, sadness, and in between, okay? The just, uh, I'm here today, okay? You've learned to mix all those things together and really look within yourself. And like, okay, I'm not going to sit in this energy. I'm now going to sit in this Ace of Cups, this abundant energy. But I have to be happy with myself first. And, and, and I just feel like you've put a lot of work into yourself. And it's brought you happiness. And don't ever, don't ever discount how far you've come is, is what I'm getting. That's very huge. All right, why is the Ace of Wands here? Okay, King of Pentacles, your energy. And we have the Tower. Yeah, I, I feel like in the past something has happened. You could be dealing with another Virgo. Don't have to be. Um, for some of you... Something fell apart. And I feel like it felt apart to bring, and this could be a job. This could be anything in your life, okay? This could be friendships. This could be family ships, okay? Like, you know, and I feel like this tower came down to bring you realization of your strength, Virgo. <clears throat> and really make you see what your true desires are and that you are worthy and you are valuable. But something had to come to an end and be removed in order for this to happen. And I do feel like it was very painful. I do feel like this was like a huge shakeup. And it tore shit down. And it was like a domino effect. Okay? But it's bringing you to where you are today. Because if you wouldn't have experienced this, you wouldn't be where you are today. And that is something to be very proud of. Why is the Seven of Wands here? I feel like you had to stand up for yourself in, in a situation or multiple situations here. Seven of Swords, seven, seven. Like, I feel like this is <coughs> Seven of Swords. You know, I feel for like a long time, the tactics that you were using, for some of you, you were hiding something from someone, trying to be strategic. Now, this could be as well somebody doing this to you. You take this as it resonates because... I have cross watchers on here. I have Virgos. I have Virgo risings, moons, what have you. Okay. And I feel like there was something being tiptoed around. And this guy, whether he's male or female, it doesn't matter, is in the dark. And it's like trying to keep thinking of something secret. And for some of you, it's like this bird here is like, I feel like there were signs being given by the universe 
to bring something to light and it wasn't it's like there was a there was an avoidance factor and again i feel like this is all this situation whatever it is really tore it down for you okay i really feel like it put you in your head <clears throat> you know um i i do feel there was a sense of dishonesty and I feel there was some dishonesty within yourself not being honest with yourself but now I feel like you've gone from the seven of swords whether this is somebody doing this to you or you doing things in a trying to do things in a tactical approach which kind of did more harm than good but you're learning now like i'm gonna stand up for what it is i feel what i believe and i don't give two shits what anybody thinks about it so good for you so i feel like you've come out of a very negative energy but again this is because it's for your highest good <clears throat> All right, let's see. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here for Virgo spirit? Why is the Queen of Pentacles? Okay, so you had the Hangman and the Page of Wands. Again, I'm getting a sense of contemplation. Like, I feel there is much excitement here. So, let's talk about the Queen of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, and King of Cups first. Sorry. I started coughing and got distracted <coughs> and started shuffling cards. Um, there, you know, you have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Cups. There is a page in the middle. So there could be, for some of you, I feel that there's two people coming together and perhaps you both have children. Okay. Um... Or one of you has children, and for some of you, this could be two different people. I mean, I'm, I always read all the energy I get. It's a collective, okay? So only take what re references for you. I'm going to tell you, the strongest feeling I'm getting right now is that there's something that is coming together that is very solid um practical loving nurturing emotionally fulfilling but it's gonna be very slow moving but then it's like gonna speed up <coughs> now this could be with work remember this could be with love for a lot of you i am feeling love here um you have page of there's a lot of fire here um and excitement adventure but again i feel like there's some resistance here and i feel like it's because of the past like not wanting to get hurt again or being vulnerable but i feel like you're working through that because it's like you're being shown something here it's like some of you need to get into like more of a childlike energy with the page of wands and have fun and maybe you will date a couple of people and then finally realize okay this person is the one for me but whatever one is the one for you is going to start off i feel very slow because i feel like there's going to be caution on both people and i don't mean that in a negative way that's good like friends first is what i keep getting that's the best example like and it's always good to build that foundation first of being friends because if you can't be friends then you can't move on to another level right because being just sexual with you know like i do feel like there's a, a heavy attraction to someone and again, I'm getting new energy, okay? Um, there's a strong connection with someone, but also understanding that 
that's not all to a relationship. And maybe that's what's gotten you in trouble for some of you in the past is you've kind of went to that place quickly and then it didn't work out. So I feel like slow and steady is going to win the race here and it's going to be very beneficial for you. But I feel like there's a lot of excitement anticipation but i do feel like there could be a little bit of hesitancy and again just take things slow let things unravel on their own okay now if this is work um now certainly some of you may meet somebody in a work type of environment whether it's their work your work in in a business something like that but again slow and steady wins the race there's no, don't rush don't rush. All right, let's see what we have for the page of, I'm sorry, for work. <clears throat> I am getting this sense that like things are coming together. There is going to be a person here that is going to help you through something. Some of you could be learning here. Um, like, like being a student. Like, you know, so some of you could be learning a new position or, you know, starting a new job. And even though it may not be exactly what you want, it's going to be very prosperous for you. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? The Hermit, your energy, right? <clears throat> I feel like you're going through a lot of introspection here. Um, and you have been. I mean, you have a good bit of major arcanas here, and I feel like Spirit is trying to guide you on your path here. And I really love this energy. Um, you know, it's important for us to go within, right? And, and, and again, I'm getting the sense you've spent some time of alone, and you're starting over here with something and it could be multiple things it could be you know maybe you've moved maybe you've moved jobs careers and when i say move it can be physical or change in like work or you know surroundings um friends maybe you've changed your friends group <coughs> but you're starting fresh on something you're starting at like you have an empty field it's like it's like okay you have a blank canvas whatever it is you want you can have but i feel like you're on a new path no doubt like there this isn't this isn't a feeling of past energy like i feel like because of the past you are really being guided and shifted in, onto a new path with new people, new places, new things, new directions. And it's because you've put a lot of time and effort in yourself. Why is the, okay, two of swords, king of cups and two of swords. So I'm gonna tell you with love again, this is gonna be a slow burner. And it's because I feel like both of you, and you can see like, I'm getting like the justice symbol with the, um, on her hand, she has, why am I losing my thoughts? Why am I losing my thoughts? She has the, um, oh, the scales. <clears throat> and it's like weighing things out, like weighing the pros, weighing the cons, you know, what's the positive, what's the negative. But the King of Cups is emotionally balanced, okay? And I feel that with the Two of Swords, it's like this person is really trying, is really going to do and make decisions based on staying emotionally balanced. Because this person knows that if my, my emotions get out of whack, I know where that's led me before. And I'm no longer going to allow that, give power to that anymore. I'm not going to allow anyone to control or affect my emotional state. No one's allowed to touch that unless it is a, 
a good emotionally balanced situation. So, and I feel like you both have had pain in your past. So again, <clears throat> you know it's going to be hard to be vulnerable and open up to somebody, and that's okay. But you're aware of it. So you've learned a lesson there of not jumping into something, taking your time, because you're going to know and you're going to feel if there's a connection here. And again, I feel like it's, it's, you know, control the urges because you really want to get to know somebody, you know, for the respect factor and, and so forth. And knowing if you're compatible. But I feel like there's no doubt this is compatible. Like, coming together, I just feel that there's going to be hesitancy because of the past pain. And that's okay. It's like, it's kind of like, okay, I'm falling for this person. And then it's causing you to be triggered. And that's kind of what it's meant to do. Because it's like, okay, don't get scared. Face this. There could be someone resisting coming towards you because they're not certain of how you feel as well or how you would take this. But I feel like you'd be damn well open to it. All right, Ten of Cups. What? Okay. Hang on. All right. I'm not going to lie, I feel like somebody's, I feel there was a, I feel like there was a past person who you thought was your Ten of Cups, but wasn't. You have the Ten of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, the Chariot. So let me say this. It's like... Let's take this card out before I go over that. It's like <coughs> something is coming to, into play here that is going to be like you're happily ever after. And I know that sounds freaking cliche, but there's no other way to say it because I feel like you've waited a very long time for this. And you, <coughs> you've, put, you've put in <coughs> a lot of work <coughs> in your sense of emotional, like from, you know, emotional harmony and stability you know you're learning that there will always be challenges and obstacles but because the work you've done and you've put in yourself you're going to allow anything that anything externally whether it's people situations friends family places whatever that gets in your way you're going to triumph that shit and move forward and have victory. It's like new possibilities here. And for some of you, you're going to have to make quick decisions. And I'm going to tell you, somebody from your past is going to come back and realize you're there happily ever after. And I feel like you're done with that. You're done with that. You know, I feel like you've lived in this five of pentacles for so long. It's like I'm no longer allowing this to affect my ten of cups. I'm just not. I'm no longer focusing on my weaknesses here. I'm going to let that go. Like... <clears throat> I feel like you've gone round and round with something and it's really kept you in a conflicted mindset. It's like spirits like the keys right there, open the door and move. And I feel like that's what you're doing to get to your Ten of Cups. That is the energy I'm getting. Again, I read intuitively. And it's like, I'm no longer sitting in this five of pentacles place. And I'm going to tell you, some of you, a past person is going to come back. Don't allow that to get in your head. Don't allow that to get in, in the way of this. 
because this is what you want. There's too much history here with this. Too much pain. It's like there's more negative negative memories, negative thoughts than there were good. Again, weighing the options. Don't, 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 don't. We'll, <coughs> if this is a job, I do, again, like if you got let go of a job or a job that you really wanted, even if you were self-employed, didn't work out, that's okay. We, we cannot have success without failures because this, it, this isn't even going to compare to this. Just saying. All right. Well, why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Why is the Wheel of Fortune? Oh, shit. <laughs> Six of Cups, three of Cups, and no. <coughs> this is not. Okay, let me say this. Some of you were stuck. The wheel was stuck because you chose to stay in the past with a past person. They could have had you in a third party. Okay? But I'm going to tell you the feeling I'm getting here. This is for a few of you. I'm going to tell you, get ready. You could be networking. You could be getting into a job um, I started getting the job thing give me just a second I'll go back to love you could be getting a job where you're going out networking here and you're feeling like a child again okay um <clears throat> and I'm feeling like it's it, it, it's like things are just moving for you 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 feel very playful like it's not going to feel like a job is what i should say it's going to be very like childlike and playful and and fun and it's telling me like that this the, the going this way too again you know you're releasing the guilt of something here virgo <coughs> now as far as this new love to me, the Six of Cups is a blessing being brought in. As well as having learned those lessons from the past. It's like you've learned them. You're not going backwards anymore. And I feel like a lot of you have felt like you wait, you... There was a lot of time spent here trying, you know, because this is an older person. And I feel like you spent a lot of time on something that just, I don't want to say a waste of energy, but just, a, it was just, don't get in the energy of feeling like you've wasted time on something or staying in a situation, whether that's work or love. Um, and staying stuck to not, to not be in the energy of having fun. Like you, you know, it's like now it's time for you to have fun. It's time to get out there. For some of you, you know this person already. Some of you don't know that the, again, I feel like there is like, you don't even know that somebody likes you or there's an attraction between you and someone else. But neither one of you are saying something. And I feel like you know them. They are. They could be known in your community or they are, how can I say this? They're known in your community. Or like there's something surrounding a place of business, whether they go to your work, you go to their work for something, like a, you know, coffee shop, a doc, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> something you frequent, even if it's once a month, okay? But again, it could be through networking 
you meet somebody through a friend okay and the the wheel is going to start turning but again i'm getting this sense some of you already know this person i'm just saying all right why is the chariot here why is the Ooh. queen of swords okay i feel like you know okay let's talk about the queen of swords look at the bottom of the deck you have the ten of cups something told me to flip that over this came out reverse and i didn't feel like the spirit's like no turn it around <coughs> the queen of swords gets a bad name okay i said over here that either this person could have children you could have children or both of you could potentially for some of you the queen of swords swords is a divorcee she could also be a widow take that as it resonates that's not for everybody she gets a bad rap and she gets a bad rap because people automatically assume that she's cold and cutting. She's been through some shit in her life that has made her strong as hell and not allowing people to be a doormat. Seeing clearly, she sees things for what they are because she had to learn to call it as it is. And she learned the hard way. So it's like, okay, she will pinpoint red flags. Like the flags will start popping up a mile freaking away is what I'm getting. Like she sees it very clearly. So you will see through people's bullshit, whether it's at work, you know, love, whatever. Like you're going to know. And it's like, I'm, I'm not allowing anybody to screw with my balance anymore. I am moving forward. Again, triumph, victory. And it's because you're seeing things clearly after this tower fell. <coughs> Excuse me. You are seeing things for what, you're acknowledging things for what they are. And that's huge. I really, again, Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I mean, shit, Virgo. I love it. All right, let's see what we have for your animal spirit card for August. I love this. If people, if anybody asks you to go out, go to an event, I feel like some of you are really feeling like you weren't going to want to stay home. Don't. Don't. You could be, be missing an opportunity. You have the coyote, revealer of truth. I mean, hello, did we not just see this here? Don't take things too seriously. Make time to play. Uh, great wisdom comes from laughing at your own folly. Look out for the traps and tricks of life and learn from them. And I feel like, again, you've learned from the past. And your wheel... <clears throat> is no longer deflated it's in alignment right because a car has to be aligned and when your tires get low and you don't rotate your tires then things start getting out of whack and or if you don't fill up your you know your tires with air they get low and it's out of balance but i feel like you have learned to become centered around the things that surround you and it's like you know what i cut out Whatever bullshit is around me that doesn't emotionally fulfill me and that doesn't keep me emotionally balanced and making me move in the direction that I want, which is towards triumph and victory, right? Towards success. <coughs> so again, I love this energy for you. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. If you've stayed this long, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Um, please comment, share your story. I love when people do that. Um, but again, like you, you have learned to let go of so many things. Be proud of yourself for that. Don't dwell on the things that you didn't do right, what you could have, should have, would have done. Because remember, without failure, you cannot have success. And you are on your way to success here. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Keep standing in your power. And I'll see you soon. Bye.